Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of The Witcher 3. Last episode, we got a bit of information on Dandelion and Ciri, and what happened between Ooh. them and Junior. Ooh. Junior is a fucking creep. We ended up killing him, and we got a hold of this box. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's something that Ciri and Dandelion wanted fixed. But anyway, we're still on the search for Dandelion and Ciri. We are still in the middle of a, a mission with uh, Dijkstra finding his treasure that uh, Dandelion and Ciri took. So I believe this will probably be the last mission here. And then we'll probably go to Skellige. I'm not sure. I would like to. We're level 16 now. We can head there if we want. But I do want to finish everything here. So let's go have a little chat with Triss and get this treasure back. I believe she's going to be using herself as bait. Uh, we'll see. Uh, where, where's my horse? Where's my horse? You bitch! What? Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Shit. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Roach. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. <laughs> uh, Triss, sure about this? Here and now. <laughs> uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. <laughs> I had to, I had to. Bring funny. the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision and I won't change it. All right. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit. Death doesn't scare him. Mm. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Axie? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Oh, uh, what? Wait. I wanna thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. I don't know about, like, because we, we let Philippa go with, like, the king. I don't know. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. All right, let's go. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Let's do this. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do. No matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Oh, she got a little too close there. <laughs> she scared me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I like Triss so much, but for Garrow, I think I will choose Yen. But uh, me personally, I like Triss's personality more. <sighs> All right. 
What do you want? Here for my reward. Well, the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. You don't know they have like Marigold. A history. Come in then. Guess not. All these guys look the same. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings. Scheme. You're gonna treat her like wars. shit, but I gotta Don't let it happen. Turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done jesting, Marigold. Oh, I for good. Kill him so bad. Right Put her now. in a cell. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. We need Siri. Want to talk to hands off? No, 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 no. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Ah! Oh, you're not gonna do any ripping, bitch. Uh, I know you're witches, but you're still shit at catching them. Uh, got something? Uh, let's just ignore it. We're ignoring. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance. For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you. Shut your gob, ginger whore. And you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Uh. <laughs> Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Uh. <laughs> Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Sorry, Triss. You said to, okay, I would have totally had no, I don't know. It's the right thing to do. Well, it's not the right thing to do, but it's the right thing to do. <laughs> this is for Siri. Eternal flame will burn away our sins. Devil's spawn. Move! Quickly. Let's go. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Are they gonna torture her? Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a finger. Oh, don't do three. that. Don't do that. that ought to get you singing. <laughs> but no torturing. I've had enough of this shit. Uh, no torturing. I don't. I, she needs to be in mint condition. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off. Don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Good. Keen nose good. for enterprise. Good, 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 good. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good, good, good. No, you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. That's not charging her without me. Torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. What? The Horson's casting spells. Get him! Fuck! No, no, I'm sorry. No. Fucking oh, shit. I didn't. I was worried about that. I, I wanted to do that, but I didn't. Oh my fucking. Jesus. I, I had a feeling somebody was like, wait, why are you. What? Oh, fucking A. Fuck. Get him, Triss. Okay, well, get him already. Let's go. Come on. Let's not play. <laughs> get, get, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Can I, can I get it? There you go. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, move, Triss. 
Let's kill the rest of these guys first. I don't want anyone coming after us later. Yeah, pathetic. Oh. There's more of them, there's more of them. Triss, I need to get down here. gonna go uh, it makes me mad I didn't want them to hurt Triss I tried to keep strong you know try to manipulate them but in the end of the day they saw through it I guess and they saw me freaking cast a spell I was worried about that I was I I but I, I wasn't sure because like it's worked in the past when there's been multiple people you know One of those days. All right, let's go talk to this dude. Bro, oh, we can't talk to him. What? Lost your nerve. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Triss? I think that's all of them. That was close. Axie in a crowd. Geralt, there was no way that could work. Dude, it's worked Sorry. before! I couldn't let them torture you. You mean too much to me. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. Yeah. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Okay. I'm sorry, Trist. Don't be mad at me, please. I tried my best. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, there's something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Found a letter from a spy. Kind of doubt the key will be enough. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. He Every is a spy. Day. Slight exaggeration there. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. <laughs> it's a good guy. All right. It sucks Nothing it's turned out this way, here. but... Let's go. What we can you do? To. Obviously, Just I didn't know that would be the outcome. Gate. Okay, so we gotta figure out a way out of here without going through the front door. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow <laughs> off some stuff. Didn't you just do that? 
Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right. All we need to get out of here. Can do. Uh, Kiddos. Let's figure out how to get out of here. Ooh, fire scared me. Up here. All right, let's go talk to Dijkstra. You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old Who? bastard. What? Nothing. Uh, Dijkstra, we were just about to head there. I mean, that's who it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my That's treasure all. is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. He's How dead. badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menge. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not Bruh. made things much easier for me. You're a spy, right? Can you figure this shit out? That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> yeah. You want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Oh. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. How'd you find out? Stop crying, look at your tread. That sounds very aggressive, but how'd you find out? Sounds like, all right, you caught me. I don't want to be rude. How do you find out? I asked the questions here. Not true. That was a statement. <laughs> yes. Come on, Dijkstra. This tough guy act doesn't work on me. We're both adults. Act like one. <laughs> ah, Geralt. I should have you strangled, but I like you. you I bastard. like you too. Can he I be like my you too. my romance? You count without a county. Now that we've professed <laughs> our feelings for each other, how'd you figure it out? Since from the start, you were up to something. You didn't haggle about your pay. And then I heard from my sources that Margrave Henkel and Dandelion had rubbed elbows. It wasn't hard to connect the dots. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Oh, Give the signal, thank and he'll you. show up there the same day, just before See, midnight. we have a connection. Thanks for your help. How the hell do you know this? Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. I'm sorry. Even to liars. And the final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. All right. Well, that didn't end too bad. Um, could have gone a little bit better, but in the end of the day, we got info. We got, you know, another lead. Our relationship still good with Triss. <laughs> I was afraid, even though she told me to just let her get beat up, I was afraid if I did, she would still come at me and be like, well, thanks for your help. And like, some kind of, I didn't, so I don't know. I wasn't really worried too much about it, but I, I just, it was hard to kind of play off. Like I didn't give a shit, you know, I guess. Um, and I'm glad we confessed our love to Dijkstra now. So, well, that's been settled. All right, so let's go find this drop box. 
and hopefully meet up with the spy. Must be the drop box. Give the signal. Spy should show up in far corners before midnight. All right. Be at the arranged meeting place at midnight. All right, let's go. Got no time to lose. Now just to hide and wait. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic. All right. Um, now we just wait. Perfect place for a tryst with Triss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner, lips almost pucker on their own. <laughs> Shh. He's coming, Hyde. <laughs> Gross. Mouse droppings. Ah, this guy. Did we see this guy? Manga. What to do? Disposed. Very indisposed. Ah, uh, double team. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. Don't play the tough guy. Not worth it. That's no way to talk to a lady, sir. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it. How about to say, dude? Oh, she tasted his balls. Oh. Had enough? <laughs> Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. I love this. Started. I love this. Uh, that's that's enough. Don't react. Um. The, don't react. Let's keep it you going. Must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Okay, maybe that is enough. Maybe that is enough. So, can I talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dan. Who do you work for? Let's get all the info out of this guy. Who do you work for? Oh, say. No way! Sure about that? Ooh! <laughs> That bitch. Where'd Manga hide Siki Ruben's treasure? I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl the pain again. Yeah, and yeah, I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? I think he's telling the truth. Ugh, looks like it. Sadly. Radovid. What did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menga captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel. He might have set up at the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I can't believe it for a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. Expect an apology. Get to the point. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menga's planning to execute him in Oxen Fert. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Geralt. I know. Seen too much. Why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies, 
Or I wipe his mind. Take his memory. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad. I promise. Peace. Play and game. Dude, I love this game. I fucking love it. I'm gonna cry. It's so amazing. I just <laughs> okay. Uh, showed your claws today. <laughs> really showed your claws today. Is that how you see it? I'd put it differently. I showed how little I differ from. These I was joking. I was a I... joke. I didn't. Let's finish up and leave. I want to go home, bathe. I'm sorry. Drunk. I thought I thought she was. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll walk you home. I, li look, I want to be nice to her because I care about her, but I don't want her get, to get the wrong impression because I do want to. I, I want to, you know, romance Yen instead. As much as I care about her, Michigan, I'm, I'll walk you home. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. I shouldn't have said that. I didn't. I thought it was going to be a joke. But I thought she was cool. I didn't realize she was. There is one other thing I wanted to talk about. Not in the right mindset. So, mind coming by later. Manga's dead. True, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. All right. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford. Right. Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Okie dokie. I feel bad. I, I didn't mean to, like, start a joke, but... Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> Can I have a ride? Oh, man. I feel bad how it ended. I didn't realize that she was so affected by that. Um, glad we didn't kill him, then, for sure. Um... Yeah, I feel bad now. It's all right, it's all right. Okay, so what do we got? I know Tris wants to talk to us, but um, hmm. Tell Priscilla what you learned about Dudu. I'd say we save the second secondary quest for probably another time. Uh, so let's continue on with the main story. I wanna, I wanna keep going. So let's go have a little chat with Priscilla. I know we figured out what happened to her. Do we know where she is? Exactly. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Ah, Priscilla. I'm thinking, I was thinking Philippa just a minute ago. So we, we, okay. Cool, cool, cool. We're back here. I remember, I remember who Priscilla is. I get Priscilla and, and Philippa mixed up. Hey girl. How you doing? I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. So we gotta find Brilliant. Dudu. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. No. Oh. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? You do not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. <laughs> we need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with someone he trusts. It's Dandelion. Irina Renard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. 
He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Doodoo. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Doodoo and the mummers, how they meet. That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a otter. I thought of Doodoo. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Doodoo revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Doodoo and Irina took to each other completely and right away. Aww. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to do you into something. Mm. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Doodoo whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Oh something God. that will grab Doodoo's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish we can Call start it. Call it Geralt right of Rivia. <laughs> Don't know what I can that I can write a play. Uh, all right, we can get to work on the play. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time. I'm together. actually kind of excited for this. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Doodoo that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. Mm. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, 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 all clear, but I'm just trying to yeah, think of something. all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds kind of like what we're going through. Uh, uh sure. Pretty straightforward. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Mm. Well, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Do I get a say in any of this? Will I get a say in any of this? Or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative She's process. like, oh, I need your help, but then decides the, the whole ones. thing. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theater. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. All right, need a good title. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? <laughs> of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. <coughs> I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Uh... Ch change... Uh... the first one let's go with the doppler salvation it's shorter catchier just one problem no dopplers in that story just a princess and a cursed urchin nothing simpler we need merely swap the doppler in for the urchin the message that's what's important a witcher arrives and saves the doppler got it mm, all right so it's a comedy i was <laughs> thinking more along dramatic lines but if you prefer something lighter Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. 
Shit, I want to laugh, but I want him to take it seriously to realize. Uh, drama. Hmm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. I want him to take it seriously, well, and not you, just be like, "Oh, this is all a joke." Pick a he needs to get the message. Sit down. Read silently, or just think. All right. Fine. Since you don't need help with the writing. <laughs> she seems to have it all under control. Girl, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh. Just keep quiet. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting play. A few hours later. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. See ya. All right. Well, let's go take the script to her then. I don't know if this is gonna work. Doesn't sound very promising, honestly. This where Madame Marina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah. Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Alright. Almost. Almost. Let's have a chat. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. All right. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Uh, he's in trouble. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla. Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Of course. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. All right. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? 
Axes, butchers' knives, and bricks, actually. Fun. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. All right. I'll see you. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. All right. Head to the docks, hire the ushers, and our crew jugglers from the performing troop. Okay. Let's, let's, oh, where am I going? Let's go talk to the puffins. Ooh. Play a good song. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Uh, another thug? <laughs> another thug? Flattered. Thanks. <laughs> Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Got a job for you guys. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. Looks like I'm gonna have to have a chat with them. <coughs> they harm any of you? They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. <laughs> I'm not a great talker anyway. All right, get rid of the thugs lurking outside the Puffin's house. What's up, bitches? I dare you to say it again. I, I didn't say nothing. Already friggin' hurting everyone. Oh my so God. you're the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Straight cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire? Catch it. Leave the puffins alone. Worms they sold the Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> go away now. I'll pay you to go away. Leave them alone. Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic. He's a fucking witch. Get him! All right, so we've learned our lesson for sure that actually don't work all the time. Okay. In crowds, in crowds, in crowds. I would gladly kill these guys though, they seem like bitches. Oh shit. Sorry. What? Oh, okay. Get one of them and they go flying. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. So quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. All right, sweet. Next thing is to head to the docks. All right.
Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? Yeah. You stand you accused want? of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. You'll just be more of a challenge. Oh. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? A man you humiliated before his faithful. Oh, that guy. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. Let's go then, boys. That stupid preacher I talked to for five seconds, he really that offended still. <laughs> Bitch. Come on. Go, bitch. Ooh. That's how you do it. All right, let's get back to business now. Jesus. Oh, we got a fight going on here. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. Uh, got a job for you. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. What if I fight you and win? How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Fail romance. Spare you with these guys. So you'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on, same time, ah. five a century, a witcher against the two I hope this isn't too hard. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Agreed. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Why not? What? Lose, and it stays with us. Okay. Double for rages, as promised. I have the coin for it. Why not? I win, I get it we back. might get it back, so let's see. Now, finish him. Got something special right now. Oh god, I'm nervous. Okay, can't use Quinn. Right, we got this. We got this. Suddenly forgetting how to fight. Money back. Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely trash, isn't I, Al? <laughs> Man's speechless, but I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes. Oh. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, hey, Al? Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. All right. All right, let's go start this play then. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. 
Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who's gonna play the witcher? Let's talk about the princess. Uh, who's gonna play the witcher? Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troop? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. Uh, not an actor, but good idea. Let's do it. It's a good idea. <laughs> Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort. Of won't course. You? Learn your lines at least. Of course. I'll give it a shot. Of course. Let's talk about the princess. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Um, I have Priscilla do I like Priscilla. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. Oh, I didn't mean to offend her. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. So that who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm that. finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober. Oh, or let's go for the other team. guy. I'd rather go for somebody that shows up. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepare I hope this to isn't gonna be shitty. Into your career as a mama? We can start now. We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Wait, I actually didn't look Zoltan, at the, the script. Sultan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pessy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Wait, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't look at the script, I forgot. Are they going to give me a chance to look at it? Or do I have to Google it? <laughs> I'll Google it if I have to. Oh, fuck, I might have to Google Ladies it. I'm going to Google it, just in case. I don't know for gentlemen. sure if they're actually going to, like... Give Most me the honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Yeah, they're gonna give you the option. Its here. title: The Doppler's Salvation. The players: Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, okay. Leo Rybe as the humble servant. Oh, Appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. All right, we got some claps, we got some claps. I looked up the script. Oh, kitty! I would have totally tried to memorize it, but the fact that I didn't even get to look at it, I don't want to fuck it up. So I'm just- I just googled it, I'm sorry. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. 
God, I feel like they're Lest gonna tie me. I'm worried. Dread beast, take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware. Kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. Ah, okay, good. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. Amazing acting right there. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. Figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. All right. Act two. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. <laughs> Seems man's men's heart can love. Okay. Act My three. dear. Long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet, in deceit like liars. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. Didn't our like hearts it. torment over. We shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this, this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Treason tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Oh. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. Oh, there he is. That's him. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. No. Toss the traitor, storm in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Aww. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. All right. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! 
He's right. I mummers don't know the eternal fire's commandments. Blasphemers, all to teach them respect for the faith. What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes. <laughs> tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell in the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. You can't take them on our own. God damn it. Really? I'm gonna start this shit? Come on, bitch. Thought we handled this shit. Seventeen, hell yeah. Now we can get that cat armor. Oh wait, let's head back here. Doo doo. Geralt, you recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, doo doo. Heard about that souvenir horse and left on your face. So. You know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed at half the Shut teachers? up, dude. Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> How do you escape after the fight, Horsons? You didn't contact Priscilla, why? Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mummy. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsons to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us city for a moment. Geralt? Shh. us. Transform. Change into her. No. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. I didn't know if it was the right thing to do, but me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh, a fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it, though another just as bad or worse would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. 
Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. It'll be fine. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. <laughs> so, settled, let's get to work. All right. Plans coming together. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. Thanks. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. <laughs> All right. Now we just get ready for the ambush. I mean, that part was Siri. Kind of got me a little emotional. I was worried. I didn't know like how long it had been since Siri he saw Siri. Probably since so, she was really young. I, was about my own I don't know for sure. But I wasn't sure how he wanted to see her. If he wanted to see her, and I kind of wanted him to. That's why I did it. But I wasn't sure how he would take it. So. Well, all right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.